Hi, welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm going to make an amaretta cheesecake. This cheesecake would be really good for Valentine's Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, any holiday, or you could just have it because it's really delicious. The amounts of the ingredients that you're going to need to make this cheesecake will be listed in the information box below. You can find it on the website or you can find it on the Roku channel. The ingredients for the crust are Amaretti cookies, and this is the package that it comes in. I found these at World Market, but I know Whole Foods and some specialty stores also carry them. This is what they look like. You'll also need granulated sugar and melted butter. For the filling, you're going to need cream cheese, mascarpone cheese, granulated sugar, all-purpose flour, salt, amaretto liqueur, eggs, and vanilla paste. And if you don't have vanilla paste, you can use vanilla extract. For the whipped cream topping, you need some heavy whipping cream, almond extract, some powdered sugar, and for garnish, I'm going to crush some Amoretti cookies. You're going to want to preheat your oven to 325 degrees. You need a nine inch spring form pan that you sprayed with cooking spray, and you'll need to set it on a cookie sheet. I've put my cookies in my food processor and now I'm going to grind them up. My cookies are done. They're all ground up. I've added my sugar and my butter and I'm going to t continue grinding until it's all mixed together. I've poured my cookie mixture in my pan. I am spreading it across the bottom and up the sides about an inch. This is ready, so now what I'm going to do is set this aside and move on to make the filling. The recipe calls for using a stand mixer, but I've always preferred to make my cheesecakes with a hand mixer, so that's what I'm going to use today. I've put my cream cheese in this big bowl, and now I'm going to add my mascarpone cheese. Here's my second one. Oops. And now I'm going to mix this with my mixer for about a minute until it's all nice and smooth. Now what I'm going to do is add my sugar and I'm going to continue mixing for a minute. Now I'm going to add my eggs. and the vanilla paste. It's all out of there. You see the vanilla beans right there? And I'm going to continue mixing. Next, we're gonna add our flour, salt, and the amaretto liqueur. And I'm going to continue mixing this for another minute. Okay, my filling's all done and now I'm ready to put it in my pan. Okay, so I've got my crust here and I'm just going to start pouring my filling in. Okay, get it all out of there. I'm going to make sure it's spread all around. And now I'm just going to go like this to get the air bubbles out. Now I'm going to put this in my 325 degree oven for about an hour and 10 minutes or until the sides are set and the middle is still a little jiggly. I just took my cake out of the oven. It cooked for an hour and 10 minutes. I've taken it and put it on this cooling rack. I'm gonna let it sit here for a couple of hours, then I'm going to cover it and refrigerate it overnight. Tomorrow I'll come back and show you how I'm going to finish it up. My cheesecake was in the refrigerator overnight and now I'm ready to take it out of the pan. So I have this cake pedestal here that I'm just going to set this on and I'm going to undo the spring form pan and um, take it out. So there it is. So now I'm ready to make the topping. 
I've had my bowl of my whisk in the refrigerator overnight because it works better when it's cold. It whips better. So I'm going to add my whipped cream into the bowl along with my almond extract and start whipping this together. Okay, I'm going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of almond extract in here to flavor this. And I'm going to start whipping it until it forms soft peaks. I have soft peaks here, so now I'm going to add my powdered sugar, and now I'm going to continue beating this until I have stiff peaks. Okay, well, my whipped cream is done, so now what I'm going to do is spread it on top of my cheesecake. Okay, so I'm just going to put my whipped cream on here. And I'm going to spread it out. Okay, and then I have some of these crushed Amoretti cookies that I'm just going to sprinkle on the top. And now I'm ready to cut a slice and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to take a knife here and slice down. Use my little lifter here. And there it is on the plate. This is Amaretta Cheesecake. I hope you enjoy it.